Okay, so I leave for vacation tomorrow. I'm only going for two days, but I actually have to clean my living room because mom's coming to feed my cats, and time's running short. The sun is starting to go down, so I figured, right, so that I get my Moi Cosmetics review out of the way before time runs too short and before I leave because I've been putting this off for way too long. And I'm going to put swatch pictures either... Um, either at the end or in the middle. We'll see what happens and I have to find a part of my body that is a uniform white color because you can't really tell because the light level keeps doing things but I spray tan and I am like snooky dark right now and um, I'm naturally a very pale girl. Um, watch any of my videos where I'm not wearing bronzer and you'll see that so I wanted to be darker because my boyfriend works outside all day and has like this epic tan going on and I want to look good in pictures next to him. So, uh, yeah, moving right along, tangent, tangent, um, so, Wa Cosmetics, and it's going to be backwards, I got this nice little business card with my second order of samples, and what I like about this, uh, indie beauty company, she does have, like, vegan stuff, which doesn't matter to me, but I know that's important to other people, and it's a mineral cosmetics company, and, uh, Wa stands for my own individuality, which I didn't know until I got this business card, and anyway, what I really, really like about this particular company is she's from my province. Holly is from Nova Scotia, so that's awesome. And also explains why I got my second order so fast. So she has an actual website, and I'll link it below, but I've been buying from her Etsy store. And I've actually already placed my third order as of a little bit ago. So my first order, um, I can't comment on shipping time because the postal strike was going on. Not going to get into it, so I'm not going to tell you how long it took me, but I got this pretty little card. It's purple, and inside it says, thank you, enjoy, all the best, love Holly. And I bought the, she had a deal going on in her Etsy store, it might still be going on, 10 random samples for $5 plus like shipping, so it was $6 total, which really was a fantastic, fantastic deal. And they're the usual size samples in a baggie. I have a baggie of baggies here, and Max... Don't play in the plastic bit. Fine. Anyway, if you hear weird noises in the bathroom, bathroom? Background, it's the cat in the plastic bag. So, um, the reason it's so cheap is because you don't pick your own colors, and I actually just did a 10 sample order for $10 of colors that I picked, and I'm still really excited about it. And so after that order came in, I ordered again, and then I got, I'll cover my address and stuff, but again, I don't think you guys want to, like, stalk me in this awesome leopard print envelope and that's when I got the business card and stuff and it comes with a nice little sticker for the return address and it had my invoice in it and again business card which it didn't have last time moving right along I'm not going to describe each color just ones that were my favorite so in my first order I got black raspberry which okay I might have to describe a little it looks kinda like this dusty brown purple in the bag but on it's really pretty you'll see in the swatch Frankenstein which I can't find in her store I don't know if she discontinued it but it looks like this ugly hunter green in the bag and it goes on and it's got like flecks of blue and gold and it's probably my favorite color it's fantastic um, Angel Eyes is a really light color that I use as a highlight it's very peachy like skin tony Caucasian -y, I guess I think it's politically incorrect to call something skin tony when you were little if you're white did you call the peach crayon the skin colored crayon or was I a terribly racist child I don't know but yes that one um Kala which is like an orange yellow tangerine color I guess uh, Diego, which just looks like mud in the bag, and on, it, like, the more you spread it out, the more the color shifts, and it's got, like, let's get into this one. On my finger there, you can see it shines, like, crazy blue, and it's got blue and gray, and, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color that I'm probably going to order a full size of. Um, Buffy, again, you look at it and you're just like, it looks blue on camera, but you're like, oh, that's a really icky shade of green. And then when you put it on, it goes on like this epic teal shimmer. And it's, okay, you can't really see it, but it's really, really gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, Voluptuous is like a pink, purple, fuchsia thing. Goldenrod, very self-explanatory. It's a very shimmery golden yellow, which I enjoy. Bellflower is blue <laughs> and uh it actually 
Goldenrod and Bellflower were the two colors I wore as my Ravenclaw makeup. But I'll swatch that on there. Yeah, it's blue with gold fleck in it. And it's kind of like a cornflower blue. And I enjoy it. So that was, wait, how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one of my samples is missing. <laughs> Possibly. Wait, or is it here? What are you? No, okay. Anyway, we will move on to the secondary shipment I got. I got Maria, which is this, like, intense gold. Actually, the bag looks pretty accurate there. Um, love it. Oh, Arctic Gold. This is from the first shipment. It is gold, but it's a toned down gold. It's less yellow and more bronze. Um, it's quite light and also would have been good for my Ravenclaw makeup. Spring, which on my hand just looks like this awful shade of orange. It's orange. It's pink. It's tangerine. It shines. It shifts. It changes colors. It's amazing, and I want that full-sized. Um, Cameron. One second. Okay, Cameron is a silver, it's it's mud in the bag, but it's silver gray with a blue fleck, and love it. Uh, dig it. Oh, crap. Okay, no, I thought that I had picked this out today, but no, I didn't. Uh, it's kind of a copper brown, copper brown with silver, more so. It's like a metal color. I like it. Uh, Venus is kind of similar to Voluptuous, only more pink than purple. Can we go there? Yeah. Oh, I got Buffy, oops, I got Buffy twice. Um, that was the only color she sent me a duplicate of, and I'm okay with that, because I've actually used that more than any other color thus far. Okay. This one is amazing. Chrome blue, it looks like, it looks really blue here on camera, but it looks like basically dark wash jeans in the bag, and it is... Wait till you see the swatch. It's intense. It's shiny. It's bright. It's like clown makeup, but really pretty clown makeup. Um, Penny looks very similar to Black Raspberry, but it's not identical. Provocative. Ooh, I like these names. Okay, Provocative is like a, a silver gray with pale blue. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a very pretty color. They're all very shimmery, which I enjoy. And then there's uh, Shimmer and Pearls, which is an excellent highlight. It's basically, it's white, but it's got kind of a cream undertone to it, and I enjoy it. So those are the 20, well, 19 colors that I have ordered so far, and when my next order comes in with the 10 colors that I picked, I'm just going to kind of like swatchy haul, not do a review on the company, because obviously I love Moi Cosmetics. I do. Her range of colors are absolutely beautiful. My second shipment took about five business days to come in, and where we're located so close, I guess that's to be expected, and she lists her shipping time as two to five weeks, uh, usually faster, and for me, it's been faster, and that's fantastic. The prices are great. She offers samples, sizes of all the colors, which is as I mentioned before, a really, really great thing. Um, if you go on Etsy and you do the deal that's like uh, 10 samples for $5, then I guess they work out to about 50 cents each. But if not, they're a dollar each, which with this kind of quality, I'm okay with it. And if you go on her Etsy store, her feedback is 100% positive and she's got like 2008 reviews. So, um, you know, it's a trusted company with fantastic colors. So anyway, I would give Moi Cosmetics a 5 out of 5 and definitely recommend them. Um, seriously, go to the links and just like check out the, just basically the variety of colors she offers and there's like so much shimmer but she has a few colors that are more matte. My mom convinced me to order a few of the more matte shades because she wants me to put the makeup on her and she's 45 so she doesn't like, you know, she doesn't, she feels like it's too childish but okay. Uh, where shall the swatches be? Probably at the end. And thanks. Goodbye. I'll be back after my vacation. Footnote. I was just trying to wash my swatches off, and that reminded me of something, and that is that I... Whoop, classy. Uh, I swatched them over Elf's Mineral Shadow Primer, which costs a dollar, as many of you know. Um, and they're really... And I had a really hard time getting swatches off, but I wore a few of the colors that I just showed you. One day, I put them on at 8 in the morning, over this primer. Two o'clock in the morning when I finally went to bed and washed my makeup off, there was no fading. There was no creasing. One dollar perfection. Okay, little plug for Elf there. While we're on the topic of plugs, uh, I paid for all of this with my money. My ten dollars. <laughs> Just so you know.